Today we are in Atlantic City, uh, right by the water, and what we're going to be doing is using a quadrocopter with a camera on it to get imagery of existing conditions. We have a quadcopter, and we're going to be taking that up and with a camera on the bottom of that. And we're going to fly it around, and it's going to take photos of the existing conditions in the local area. Once we have those photos, we're going to upload those to the cloud and then using the processing power of a lot of different computers as opposed to just the one that I have, it's going to stitch all these photos together. Once that's finished, it's going to create a three-dimensional piece of geometry that we can then use for a lot of different purposes. The benefits of what we're doing here is the ability to capture information very quickly. Uh, for our customers, it's expensive to capture data and the more data they have, the better decisions they can make throughout their processes. Currently, the main method that most people tend to use is laser scanning. The problem with this is it's a little expensive and it can take some time to set up. It's getting better, but this is much lower cost. It's much easier to deploy. You can get angles that you just can't get with laser scanning. So the benefit of this is that they can very quickly create a model of the environment that that new project is going to be placed in. Data collection is what it comes down to. Um, our customers are in the business of preparing design intents based off existing conditions. The more information they have up front, the better decisions can be made, which usually results in a lower cost project. Projects get done quicker. With regards to natural disasters, one of the big things that we're looking at using these tools for now is in getting an accurate idea of what is happening within the world at this specific point in time. So we're talking about using this to create models. Well, that model will give us a set of data points. An example of an analysis would be taking an existing model of this area and maybe tracking it through time. So we have models from early in the year, late in the year, different seasons. And then we can actually run something like wind analysis on that. Over time, we can use technology to compare data. So if something was collected today, tomorrow, next week, next month, we can then overlay that information through aerial imagery, through 3D models, and provide analysis on what's changing and what might happen if something else, such as a natural disaster, does come along. After the, uh, the damage is done and the architects and the design community come in to try to rebuild the area, the technology is useful because now they understand, okay, well, during that crisis, what areas got hit the most? So they can use that kind of information to understand how they should redevelop and make sure that you're not going to be repeating the same mistakes. Technology like this quadcopter, the capturing of photographs in the air, being able to use cloud services to post-process that data, and then bring it into a tool like InfoWorks for a proposal is going to help our customers be more efficient. It's going to keep projects lower cost and it's going to help our customers' customers, the owners of these projects, get a better understanding of what could be done before lots of dollars are spent.